Originally, I was going to come in and say, you know, I'm really interested in the, the Microsoft's new WordFlow keyboard, Ooh. which is pretty cool. And the thing that I like about it is it puts it in, in a um, single single handed mode that kind of puts the the keyboard on an arc. You can use it left handed or right handed for that arc, and it kind of follows the arc of your thumb um, on the on the device. And it, it, it'll do actually kind of like a swipe type um style of being able to type where you can just kind of drag your finger across words. Um, you can set the a theme so you can kind of set the background of the keyboard. You can set a bunch of different things. And I thought it was a pretty cool concept. Um, it takes a lot for me to want to switch keyboards because the keyboard, I find myself going from whatever my default keyboard is going to be to the emoji keyboard. And that's about all the further I want to go. I don't I want know, to pull I up I now have too many emoji keyboards, by the way, <laughs> for instance. I, I find it cumbersome. As soon as you get past that third keyboard, you every time you tap the thing, it goes to the next keyboard and the next keyboard, and the next keyboard. And, and to get back to that. Sorry, Macklemore wants to play us out here. First, I don't even know where it's playing right now. Sorry. That's OK. Um, to get back to the original keyboard that you kind of that you're that you're trying to get to. Um, and I just, what? Oh, um, you have to, you have to keep hitting the little globe and it takes forever if you have a bunch of keyboards. Mm -hmm. So I was like, Hmm, this is pretty cool. I think I'm going to run with this. And then today I saw Google updated their keyboard. Now theirs is going to be Android only. Um, but they do a bunch of additional auto correction. They have now have a one handed typing. Um, so they've uh, adjusted a lot of their designs. So I'm like, that's pretty cool. And then towards the end of the day, I now want to uninstall Microsoft Wordflow because I don't want to go above too many keyboards. But Giphy Keys, um, which if you're familiar with their keyboard, you used to be able to type into a search window and it kind of gave you GIFs that you could just throw into your text messaging conversation. Yeah. The pain about that was then, so you would have to search, insert the GIF, insert, then flip back to your keyboard to start typing. Well, their new keyboard has the ability to search and insert GIFs with keys in it. So I'm like, hmm. So now I'm going to try this one out. And I'm probably going to be back to where I was of just flip-flopping through keyboards. Wait, wait, wait. So I don't know if I fully understood how this keyboard works. The Giphy keys? Yeah. So Giphy's old keyboard. Yeah. Well, not the Flexi with the Giphy built in, but their old keyboard was just a search box with, with letters that you... So it was a search box. You would search for the GIF you wanted to, to insert. You would pick your GIF, insert it into the text message, and hit send. <coughs> there was no way to use the old keyboard to actually type in a text message. So you'd switch to the Giphy keyboard, search for a GIF, insert it, hit enter, flip back to your original normal keyboard, and then type out, a, type out your text. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This now, their new update, allows you to insert GIFs and type text into the content of the text message. Oh, so yeah, it's actually a, a different keyboard. So you're, you're going to have to update. That's because I was like, is this an update to the one I already have? Because I got the Giphy keyboard and now I have to make a decision. So should I just can the old one? I guess so. Because this is the, to me, this is the best of both worlds. Okay. It lets you keep it lets you type text and search and insert. GIFs. So now you can live in this keyboard yes. instead of switching as needed. Oh, can I get rid of the original keyboard? Probably not. I think you can. The, the only thing is it will automatically pop back up for passwords. Of course. So that's fine. That's yeah. fine. Um, wow. I, wow. So the, it seems like, like over the last two days, everybody's key, everyone's keyboard happy. And to me, it, it's, a, it's a little rough because I've been through, bring out my phone here, swipe, swift key, theme board, gift keyboard, flexi and word flow. Did you do the star the Starbucks one from last week? I saw it, but I did not I did I've not. I've been sending uh uh latte sipping unicorns to everybody this week. So, <laughs> you know. I'm I'm hoping that what I'd really like to see, I'd like to see Disney do a keyboard and give me like the Avengers emoticon pack and the mm. Star Wars emoticon pack. And I guess you could throw in some Mickey Mouse and whatnot in there, but I'd really like to see that Disney, that Disney keyboard. If, if Starbucks can do it, I don't understand why Disney can't. All right. So get your keyboarding on. 
Um, so, so, so collectively, if I had to pick and I wanted to add one keyboard right now of those three, I would, I would do Giphy keys, Giphy keys, Giphy keys. Yeah. So, so I mean, the Microsoft one, like generally, how was it? Like it's actually really good and really accurate. Mm -hmm. And what I liked was I did like the one handed. I mean, I don't have the smallest thumb, but I also don't have the largest thumb in the world. And to be able it was really easy to kind of on that arc type, which is what I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought an arced style keyboard across the phone would be that comfortable. It actually really was. I also liked the way when you swipe, if you swipe typed, it kind of gave you trailing dots to kind of let you know where you were and where you were going, which I, which I did really like. Um, maybe they can get Giphy keys built in. I don't know. We'll someone see. someone needs to make the ultimate keyboard best of all the world